Let's sketch the graph of this rational function. Let's first look at the x and y intercepts. To find x intercepts, we let y equal zero and solve for x. Our denominator multiplies out and we're left with two x minus four on the right hand side. Applying a little bit of algebra results in x equals two as the x intercept. To find a y intercept, we let x equal zero and simplify to get a y intercept of one. Next, we'll look at the equation of the vertical asymptote, which we can find by looking at the value that makes the denominator equal to zero. In this case, when I sub in four, I get zero in the denominator, which makes my vertical asymptote x equals four. Next up is the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, we say that the horizontal asymptote is found at the ratio of the coefficients. In this case, that's two. So y equals two is the equation of our horizontal asymptote. Next, we'll take all this information and we'll stick it on a nice little pair of axes. We have our x-intercept at two, our y-intercept at one, we have a vertical asymptote at x equals four, and a horizontal asymptote at y equals two. Now, if you sub x values into the function that get closer to four, you're gonna see that this function heads off towards negative infinity. And if you sub in x values from the right of four, you're gonna see that you're going off to positive infinity. Beautiful.